What's going on boys and girls? Welcome back to another solo leveling arise video. All right guys, using Mr. Grin's video yet again, so shout out to him. I'm gonna put the description in the video uh, below. Check that out, the full video is here for you. I did break down the first chapter yesterday for you guys. I wanna actually cover a second part of this game now, and that is using other characters outside of uh, Jim Woo Song, right? So you guys can see here, it's Mr. Song and Joe Hee. Uh, we're gonna actually check this out because this is something you're going to be doing fairly often. So characters are going to matter quite a bit. We're gonna check out their skills, we're gonna check out the stages. Also, the, it's a different point of view on the storyline from their eyes, obviously, which is kind of nice to see because obviously we all wanna use Jin Woo, but also having these guys and seeing things play out through their eyes is actually a really cool feature. And I think this is something that a lot of games need to also incorporate is people who are in the same events, how they see things differently. So let's check this out. You guys can see right now, we've got uh, Song here as mentioned and Jin Woo. Now they're gonna be doing this in the Canton. Actually, this is a stage right here. So you guys can see a little bit of game action. You see her Song is actually losing, his, has, has no arm, right? So here we go, Hunter tag in and QTE. Press the number of keys to change the desired Hunter and proceed with the battle. So you guys can see there's two Hunters currently there. Uh, a Hunter's QTE skill is available when certain conditions are met and when used. The Hunter's QTE skill is activated at the same time as the tag in. So core attack, ultimate skill, okay? So that's what his conditions are. So let's check out Song's, Song's battle. So, got a dash, there's Flame Sword. So he does burn. There's Joe He now. I love her costume. Damn, those are some those are some legs, bro. And I like that it's like not too much of a cooldown. And look at the elements. You guys can see here right on the right side here, right? He's fire element, she's water element. So I like that there's elements as well too. These mobs look really cool. So this is a boss, Blue Fang uh, Rosin. So it's frostbite slowing slowing him down. So she's healing. Double attack right there. Pretty easy. Nice little stun. It's all thanks to you. I like that. The characters uh, the characters actually have pretty cool skills. Great animations, obviously, as well, too. Okay, conquering a gate. Congratulations, let's dispatch the mining team. Okay, cool. This is a mining team. So there's a miner here now that you can dispatch. And I'm assuming this actually helps you collect crystals and all the other uh, stuff that you can get to probably get yourself oh this is cool so look at this c c c and d now it's time to start mining so dispatch let's see what this thing complete does i hope it allows it so go to the lobby oh my great timing i was actually looking for you i'm sorin of the hunters association you've met hotin right Sorin and Hajin. Okay, so these characters that I've never seen. Or I don't remember, at least. I want to let you know about a new support system introduced by the Association. <laughs> That's cool. Activity funding. The Association will hold funds for your activities based on your rank. Oh, that's cool. Higher rank, the more you get. You need them, so, check it out. so that must be the idle part. They'll only hold a certain amount of funds at a time. Yeah, so, so this is the, so there's an idle piece to this, which is kind of cool. So there's the activity funds. There you go. EXP, gold, and some sort of bonus you get there. Special funds. Oh, this is the, the trial that they gave us. Okay. The three-day trial. So it gives you three sweeps, special sweeps, active 30%. There it is right there. Available to sweep A rank or more. Okay, so that is definitely worth having, most likely, if you're going to be playing this game long term. Look at that, five stats right there as well, too. Okay, enhancing weapons. So you guys can see you can enhance your weapons as well. So different vials for different amounts of EXP. So that gives you attack and stamina. Uh, increase the weapons level by gathering weapon enhancement components and gold. When a weapon reaches the max level, you can expand its max through limit breaking. So limit breaking is important. So you guys can see here right away with this weapon, this attack and stamina, there's a 30% chance to inflict bleed on the opponent, right? That's the first one. And then when you get the f second star, it actually does the second thing, which is uh, do paralysis, 30% of paralysis, which is cool because that's exactly what the Kasaku Blade does, right? Or Dagger does. Now feel free to explore and refer to challenges. Okay, so now he actually gets to play around with this. So here's the login bonus. You get yourself 
That looks like hunter tickets, right? Yeah, legendary hunter tickets. Okay, so that's for summoning. There is some gold. And then this must be the dailies. Yeah, there you go. Dailies and weeklies. So we saw this last time, right? Okay, so those are some bonuses, I imagine, for some packages they probably are trying to sell. So let's go back for a sec. Let me see what some of these dailies are. So weeklies are draw three times, play the story five times, get a total of 100 daily mission points, which is easy. And that you have to do six times. Clear any gate 30 times. Okay, so far those are the ones we can see here. If I go back to the dailies, go back to the dailies for a sec, see if I can see those real quick right here. Yeah, this is definitely a package for sure. You guys can see don't show this for today again. So that's just showing you a package that's available. So when he closes this down, Game grid. Okay, so there you go. This is the... Oh, this is the weeklies. Okay, this, we're past that now. Okay, let's keep going here. So some achievements. There's a codex. You guys can see this is very similar to One Punch Man where you just unlock certain achievements and you get yourself some currencies for it, right? You can see Claim All. Gives you guys some of these crystals which can be used to summon. These are the free-to-play crystals, by the way. And then let's... So let's check out some of the SSR heroes. So, this looks like a original character, original character, both tanks. Lee Bora looks like an original character. Uh, we know Dong Su is, is part of the show, or uh, Manwa, he's a DPS. Uh, we know Min is the best healer. Uh, Wu Jin Chol is also a uh, tank. Uh, Cho is a caster. Lim is a range attack. Uh, Yeon Hu is a... Is a um, uh, tank you guys can see also here. They've got the elements right dark and, and light. We got uh, then the, the rest are SRs Okay, so I mean not too many SSRs to go with but there's gonna be a lot of dupes now. He's the first banner by the way uh, Choi is the first banner Okay, so here he's leveling up some of the characters it can go max to the same level as your account I imagine so he's probably level six right now. So that's the max can go There's a uh, some weapons you guys can equip here. You can see here it goes up to max level six So everything uses the, the gold currency, which is nice so pretty straightforward. That actually makes things easier. I hate when there's a lot of currencies. Okay, there you go. Enhancements. Now if you go to Song Jin, you guys can see here he now has this is really cool. I love this. The strength, vitality, intelligence, perception, agility. And this let's check take a look at the skills, right? So double slash, it being equipped that. So double slash is what? Let me go back here. Read the description of the double slash for a sec. Oh wait, hold on. This is Stats. I'm gonna go back here. Read double slash. Hold on. So select the skill. There we go. So Jinwoo crouches and and uh, and after spinning quickly, he charges and slashes. 260% of Jinwoo's attack cooldown 10 seconds. 100 MP consumptions. When the last attack in the combo hits, it inflicts the airborne effect. Cool. Okay. All right, and you can see here he's gonna put it towards attack. I would, I would also focus on agility as well, too. Obviously, and we know that he's a necromancer, right? Or a shadow monarch. He, intelligence, we know, is a big part of his game. So we're going to have to probably put a lot into there. So he's, going all, he's going all strength. Okay, fair enough. Okay, and then we've seen this right now, right? This is the, the summoning banner. So you guys can see the current selection is the raid up banner right now is Choi, like I mentioned. He's going to do a... Right here, let's see if he does this. I'm Kim Sena. I've got everything you might. Okay, let's go over here. It's just hard for me because the choice I made back then has been engraved into my heart. If only I hadn't been greedy and reported it to the Hunters Association at the time. If I'd done that, the result of indifferent. But it's a thing of the past. Do you mind if I ask what exactly happens? So this is the recounting of the actual events that happen. This is cool because you get to use the whole team at Canton Temple, right? They do all the lizard men fights. And again, here Song has one arm. 
Or is this, uh... This is Defeat the Magic Beast. This looks like the same team. Yeah, it looks like it definitely is the uh, the, the tower. Kill a boss with a win double attribute. Dungeon. So things like this really do exist. Yeah, so this is double dungeon. I want to go into here. Let's just take a quick look. So this is the retelling of the story from Song's Eyes. And this is what I meant before, right? There you go. Chapter 3, finish up real life challenges, okay? Got out of the way by this There's Kim. Sung had shouted out all of us could have died. There's more than one casualty. If Sung hadn't shouted out, all of us could have died. As Sung said, I think it's best to stay put for now. Yeah, this is definitely the the problem is my arm, but this is a small price to pay for my life. I want to see this actually right here. Moved were attacked. Those who listened to see the actual fight. This is this is a crazy scene, right? Being in the beginning, so. Asleep. Even if you ask me that, it's dangerous to stay in groups. Let's split up for now. Avoid the giant godlike attack. Survive until time runs out. That's crazy. <laughs> Yo, the pressure. Go to the waypoint. Oh, he got hit. Oh. <laughs> That's a lot of damage. There we go. He cleared it. I love this animation, man. The animation and everything is so perfect. This was one of the most intense scenes of, a, of, an, of an anime manhwa ever. Okay, guys, so a couple other things I want to check out here. Um, so this is another gameplay of Song, Jinu. Let's see. I want to see another character here. So this is Namchi Young. She's also a healer, if I recall. Was I too harsh? No. If I don't snap her out of it, that healer might die. Or she was one of the DPS groups, I think. One of the... Yeah, she's DPS, actually. So she's a water element DPS. That's she's got a rifle. Oh, she's got a crossbow. That's right. I was like, it looks like a rifle, but it was a crossbow. There you go, so another gameplay here. I'll cut you. <laughs> so some ranged DPS here. These are all rare characters, if I recall. Will you join me? I'm going to take care of it. I'll lock you down. Yeah. Nice, good freeze. There you What's go. My next target? That's kind of cool. I like that. So you do have like a, a pretty a pretty good supporting cast here to play with. Let's see if I can fast forward here a bit more. This is a solo mission with her, with Kim. Oh, look at that, Kang Tasak. Kang Tasak is there too. And there you go. That's what mining does. Gives you guys some currencies. All right, guys, there you guys have it. Uh, again, I will be linking this video in the description. There's a couple different modes um, and different gameplay versions of different characters. Uh, outside of Jinwoo, obviously. Loving this game. Two days, guys. Actually, tomorrow. It drops tomorrow. So tomorrow, I'll be going live around 9.30 a.m. Uh, I'll be putting in a uh, scheduled uh, live stream for tomorrow. I'll be playing for about three or four hours if I can uh, and live streaming for you guys. Hopefully, even more at nighttime. Um, anyways, enjoy the video, guys. This is Payne. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Take care.